Good morning, everyone. So, woke up and I'm not happy. Why? This is why. And it's not just normal snow, it is heavy, heavy snow. Great. I just thought I'd vlog today because you know what? Why not? Josh is getting shut up. I got that video of your mum shouting at you. <laughs> yeah, so that's the plan for today, just really um, to vlog. But I'm wanting to make scones. I got scone mix and stuff yesterday, so I'm going to make scones today, so I'll bring you through that journey. Okay, so hi guys. It's currently 1.04. Um, Josh is actually going on a run now. Uh, we have our run, so I'm going to do my makeup because what else am I going to do? I have to sit on the floor so I can use his big mirror. Um, in his old house, I used to be able to like sit in the bed and do my makeup because his bed was right beside the window still, but now his bed's too far away from the window still, so I can't do that, which is fun. So I don't actually have a reason why I'm doing my makeup today, but I'm just bored, so why not? Because I thought, put an effort in sometimes, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. Not all the time, but sometimes, you know what I mean? I've come to the conclusion of life where I'm just not feeling it anymore. I'm just so over this virus. It's doing my flipping head in. Oh, I done my nails. Oh, right, wait, no, it's not right, wait. I gave myself some Valentine's Day nails, but um, that one fell off in that hand, which is a bit annoying, but what can you do? Yeah, it was really hard to do because obviously doing a heart on my right hand with my left hand, it's very difficult. I'm not going to allow to use. I'm also trying out this new thing. Um, it's, I got it in Boots. It's from Elf. Um, I've seen loads of people have these. Like I've seen like loads of people on TikTok and everything like doing their makeup with these. So I thought like why not get one? So it's the Elf Mineral Infused Face Primer. Um, it's meant to be the Illuminizing one. Um, that's what it looks like. It was only like a couple of pounds. So I was like, why not try it? I'm not. I don't know why I'm putting it on now. I don't even put it on yet. But yeah, so I just apply it. I haven't really noticed a big difference in my makeup. I have a few new makeup things I want to try out, but during lockdown would be the perfect time to do so. But the problem is I'm not getting like furloughed at the minute from my job because he like, I don't know why, but we just don't get furloughed, which is great fun. So I haven't got any money income coming in at the moment. So I can't really buy new makeup like to try out whenever I don't really I have money I'm just trying not to spend it because obviously we're in a pandemic here and I'd like to have some money I don't want to be left with no money just because I spent it on makeup if you know what I mean so yeah I want to try um it's like a mixture I saw a girl on TikTok because TikTok's where all the makeup trends are I saw a girl on TikTok do it and it was basically where she took the it was like a NARS foundation at was it NARS? I know it was the Fit Me Foundation and then it was a mixture of the Fit Me Foundation and the NARS Radiant Foundation. She used the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and her makeup looked pure beautiful and she uses this the Molly May Tan and Ultra Dark which is what I'm going to be using. Josh's mum actually got me the Molly May Tan for my birthday. Um, and I haven't tried it out yet because it's quite expensive and I don't want to be trying it out just for the crack. Like I want to wear it like nice places so I think I'm going to just wear it because I did buy a new Bondi Sands and I've also got the um, Sun Kissed one left so I might just use them up during this like lockdown and then when I'm actually going places and going out for dinner and stuff again then I'll use the one that like by Molly May. Which, well that's the plan, anyway, if it, if I end up doing that or not, I don't know, but I'm, like, it's actually doing my head and just seeing it sitting in my room and I can't use it. Well, I can, but I just don't want to. I also think I'm going to do a review on it, so if you want a review of the Molly May um, tan, let me know down in the comments below. I got the shade Ultra Dark. Now, the thing is, I watched Sophia and Chintzy, if you don't know who they are, they're YouTubers, watch them, they're actually so good. Like, I... Obviously I'm vlogging today so that's fine but I normally cannot do my makeup without watching one of their get ready with me. Like even if I've seen it before, like I for some reason have to watch it. I don't know why. I always have to watch get ready with me for um while I'm doing my makeup. It's very strange. It's normally Jordan Lipsicone that I watch. I don't know if I said her name right, but sure. It's normally her that I watch, like her makeup videos that I watch during like getting ready and stuff. I hate the fact of like getting up and like not having anything to do or anywhere to go. Do you know what I mean? The annoying thing is that Josh and I actually had plans for Valentine's Day. Obviously Valentine's Day is on a Sunday this year which I find very strange but 
we were, I was planning on taking him away for Valentine's Day because he normally takes me away everywhere for like my birthday and Valentine's Day. So I was like, right, okay, I'll take you away this time. We had a plan. Well, I had a plan to take him away on his birthday. Couldn't do that because we were in a lockdown. And then my birthday, we were in a lockdown. And now Valentine's Day, we're still in this lockdown. Now I planned on, today we would have been going up to Belfast and having like a day of shopping. And then tomorrow I would have been planning on taking him to the zoo because me and Josh like pure love the zoo like i tell you no word of a lie that wee boy and myself obsessed with the zoo don't know why but we just really want to go to the zoo and every chance that we've had we don't take it so i said that's literally the first thing i said i was like josh see when this um lockdown's over we're going to take advantage of all these um all of these things being back open again and we're going to do so many wee date days and stuff like that now the problem is that josh and i both are in uni and uh, college and we both obviously have work so trying to find days to do stuff is quite difficult because like when he's off I'm not or when I'm off he's not which is quite frustrating. I'm looking for another job at the minute. Obviously as you know I worked in TK Maxx over um, Christmas and don't get me wrong I absolutely loved it. I did apply to stay on but I don't know if I am being kept on or not like they haven't got in contact or anything like if I am being kept on or not but I really hope I am because I swear I see the pay in there and the hours like everything about working in that place is pure lethal like no tell of a lie and plus I get to work with like my cousin and I get to work with like people just that I know and like they're really genuinely nice and that which is what obviously I like. It can be quite frustrating because not having money during this is really annoying not that I really need money but just being left with no money is just a bit crap not being paid is just crap it's just frustrating do you know what i mean i'd prefer if i was getting paid even if i was getting furloughed i wouldn't mind half as much but because i'm not it's just incredibly annoying yes yeah, so i have been looking for jobs but like you don't really see anywhere putting out right now that they're hiring i really like clothes shops is what i love doing like working in like retail is what i pure love doing like obviously i work in like a wee milkshake place which i still work in but obviously i don't get furloughed from there which is very frustrating but I got furloughed until like the 9th of January from TK Maxx but that's when my contract ended. But I would love another like job in like retail because I really really enjoyed it. TK Maxx is good because it's not just clothes. Like you literally can buy everything there. It sounds like I'm pure doing a brand deal with them here but I'm not. I just, oh, I just really want another job. Because not only that, my hours get cut in my job that I'm in at the minute. Like my, like the milkshake place I'm in. My hours get cut like before Christmas time because he was doing the place up. But the place hasn't even been done up, so I don't understand what's going on with that. It's probably because of this um, lot, like pandemic going on. For the days that I'm not in the milkshake place, I would like to actually have another job because it's days that Josh is in work, so I'm just sitting at home doing nothing. So I'd rather be out like, making money and doing something than being sat at home and bored. I think this is like a jail. I don't know if you, it's like a clear jail. And then when you put it in your face, it feels so soft. Like it doesn't feel like a jail, if you know what I mean. Like it feels like matte or something. I'm at the stage where just getting up to do nothing every day is just doing my head in. And what's even more annoying is that Josh is getting up and like getting ready and going to work, which I would love to be doing. Like if I worked on somewhere right now, I'd be happy as like anything. But obviously I don't work anywhere. And I literally would not care half as much if I was getting furloughed, but I'm not. So I'm like, what is the point? So I'm not getting paid for being off. I think when the shops and everything open, it'll be easier to find another job. People who are getting furloughed, obviously it's a lot better for them because they're sitting at home and getting paid for doing nothing. Which is lucky as anything, like I would love to be doing that, but I'm not. But I would rather, like I know like some of you are probably like, why? But like I would rather actually be in work right now than be getting paid for sitting at home. <laughs> I'm so bored. Well, in all fairness, when this lockdown's over, which is in March, at the end of February, I actually do have to go up to my college and do about 20 exams which is great fun so yeah i probably shouldn't be complaining at the fact that i don't have to do those exams right now but they would have been over by now which is quite upsetting so i would have been like no more exams apart from my practical ones obviously okay so here's today's fit it's just this wee bow and tea set and then my black air forces and then i'm wearing this green pretty little thing jumper on top of it hello everyone so it's now quarter to three um Josh is just finishing getting ready. I don't know why my eyes look so blue. Oh my word. It looks so blue. I think it's because of the 
colour of outside but yes yeah, so we have a few jobs to do which we didn't actually need to do before so we have to go to Tesco's and get a card from my mum to my dad for Valentine's Day because he's extremely unprepared we have to get Josh's dad flowers from him to his mum we have to get my mum wine and we have to get lunch and I think we're gonna go to McDonald's for lunch because why not hi it's me you know me the funniest guy on here Okay, so we are going to get ready. Well, Josh is, I'm already ready. Josh is getting ready. I really need to get a shower tonight. I know that for sure. Um, and then I'm going to go home and make some scones because I am a lover of a good scone. Just love scones. Don't like the already made ones, but I like the really fresh ones that you get. Mm, delicious. Okay, so hi guys. It's now five past three. We're currently in McDonald's car park eating. Josh got two plain hamburgers and I got a plain hamburger and a chip because we're so exciting. Hi guys, it's your boy. It's your boy. Your boy, your boy. Bye now. Okay, so this the wine cellar we went to apparently wasn't the right one. Well, apparently it was, but they didn't do the wine that mum wants. So we're not at Tesco's. And we're gonna go in and get um, flowers for Josh's dad, a card from my dad, not for Josh's dad, from Josh's dad to his mum. Um, a card from my dad to my mum and then mum's wine. So we're now back in the car. Got um, the roses, got Josh some fish for dinner, some wine for mum and got a card from my dad. So yes, we're gonna go to my house now and I'm gonna give dad the card. Apparently he's sleeping, mum says. So yeah, but I'm going to make some scones when we get in. Week fun. So yeah, I'm actually very excited. I pure love scones, but I prefer, as I said earlier, I prefer like the homemade scones that you get instead of like the ones you bought that are like pre-made in the shop. It's just nicer and fresher and then you get more of them, do you know what I mean? So I'm now going to make scones. This is the scone mix I'm using. It's by Tesco. It makes eight scones apparently, but I'll probably make about double that. All you have to do is add milk. So that's the type of bacon I like. It's the easy bacon. Very easy to make scones. The problem is, I don't have a rolling pin, so last time Josh and I made scones, we filmed it and we realised that I didn't have a rolling pin, so we had to use a glass, so we're going to have to do that again today. 150 ml of milk. Wonderful. And then we just need to mix that. Scones are so easy to make, which is what I like about them. Look at that. And we calendar. it. Look at that. Oh wow. There's our first scone, everyone. So I'm now going to glaze them. Oh no, George, don't I wanna fall? George! Stop! So everyone, this is my mum. my nails I was gonna do the white with the heart but it said I just done all red because 
it takes so long to do that heart you would actually not believe how long it takes me because especially the fact that I'm doing it with my left hand on my right instead of my right on my left this hand was okay to do I don't know what way it sits like that that one was okay to do but that one is so hard to do because it's the opposite hand so I just done a full hand of red um, I've currently got like wet hair because I've just got a shower if you're wondering what I use in my hair um, it's this, it is the L'Oreal Paris um, Elvive um, Dream Length No Haircut Cream this stuff is a godsend, I've went through like two or three bottles of this now it is honestly so good, see if you just put it in your hair after your hair's wet it makes your hair so smooth. I like I let my hair like sit for a bit and get like a wee bit dry after I put it in and then I just dry my hair and it honestly makes your hair like nice and silky smooth but not greasy if you know what I mean. Um like sometimes like if you put like oils and stuff in your hair, like creams, especially when it's wet and then you dry your hair or something, it can normally like make it really greasy really fast, but for some reason that one just doesn't. So in case you're wondering, this is what it looks like. It's actually so good. Um you can get it in like boots and like soda drug and stuff. And probably like Tesco's and stuff as well. So I definitely would recommend to get that if you're looking for something good to use in your hair. I'm now just going to dry my hair. I have to wait until my mum's done my hair dryer I've just realised. Great because we had, I had a hair dryer, mum had a hair dryer and mine kind of blew up. I'm going to dry my hair and stuff and then we're going to go to Josh's. I'm going to charge my battery up and then I'll talk to you when we're there. What does he want to say quick? Thank you. Okay, I'll see you at Josh's. Okay guys, so it's now later on, it's like 11 o'clock and I'm going to end the vlog here. I'm going to vlog Valentine's Day, which is tomorrow. Um, just to let you know. But I'm going to end the vlog here, I hope you enjoyed it. I know it wasn't very exciting, I seem to say that on like all of my vlogs now, but sure. Um, thanks. Okay guys, so that is everything for the video, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, remember to follow all my social medias at the start of the video and also link down below. And my last video is also linked down below so you can go watch it. I love you all. Have a great day. I hope you're watching this. I love you. Peace out.